name's Allison and I go to Forest Hills High School. I signed up for the ICA's SAT prep course because my friend told me about the program and it was free so I decided to take advantage of that and come to boost my SAT scores. I liked how it made me feel really comfortable and how I was able to get individual attention from the teacher and mentors. I'm Fadi Bejan. I am the program director for ICA, all of our youth programs, so the mentoring program, SAT program, and our youth leadership program. ICA decided to start an SAT prep course because we've noticed that a lot of our youths are planning on taking the SAT in the coming months, but they weren't getting uh, prep courses for it and the reason being was because prep courses are very expensive especially for residents in our community. Hi my name is Navin, I am a junior that attends HSCTA, I am 17 years old. I signed up for the ICA prep course because it is convenient and affordable that will help me with the SCT when I take it in June and it will also help me get a higher score and get into the college of my choice. So we wanted to offer something that would be either low to free of cost so that students in our community have the opportunity to be prepared and compete with the other students outside of our community who are getting individual attention and you know, as a result getting into the colleges that they want. So we wanted our students to be competitive. My name is Sarika Ramden. I am 17. I'm a junior that attends Francis Lewis High School. This prep course was actually free so it was affordable and this prep course helped me improve my math skills a lot. Since I've been taking this course, my math skills have improved significantly. What I liked about this program is that the teachers work individually with the students. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm 16 and I go to Hillcrest High School. I signed up for this ICA prep course because I'm going to take the SAT and I need a prep course. I like that the teacher provided one-on-one -on -one assistance with the subjects in helping. One of the big setbacks for ICA and a lot of nonprofit organizations is funding. So we would love to do this program again. I think we intend to, but we need support from families, from parents, from community members, politicians. Once we're able to get funds, I think we'll definitely do it.